हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक मशीन सब्जेक्ट इन दिस सब्जेक्ट द कोर्स कोड ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इज हियर एम ई थ्री वन सेवन दिस इज यूनिट नंबर फिफ्थ एंड लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी फोर सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस एंड द हाइड्रोलिक रैम these are the topic related to the unit number 5 so for my introduction myself rahul kumar assistant professor of department of mechanical engineering suresh gyan vihar university jaipur and uh, in this lecture we will teach about the parts and type of the hydraulic press machine and uh, also I'll, i will give the disc description about the hydraulic ram so hydraulic press this is a one kind of machine which uh, uh, given the given the uh, one kind of work is to generate compressive force by the use of hydraulic cylinder by the use of the hydraulic cylinder and uh, <clears throat> i will also explain about the specification applications advantage disadvantage of the hydraulic press machine and hydraulic ram also and um, some basic application regarding this topic and uh, these are related to the hydraulic press and hydraulic ram so move to the objectives of this topic today so by the end of this section you should be able to understand about uh, the basic principles behind the hydraulic press so the hydraulic press is basically based on the principle of pascal's law and pascal's law state that the intensity of pressure in a static fluid is transmitted equally in all direction equally in all direction so this machine can be used for any kind of material and eligible for various pressing technology like bending punching pressing or deep drying or cup drying also right and uh, it's a uh, give the greater greater versatility ability to adopt here are a few examples of the machine is so here i will also explain about the hydraulic ram so this is a uh, one device which gives the pressure right which provide the uh, extra pressure and uh, <coughs> and the talking about this hydraulic press so <coughs> hydraulic press is a uh, machine which provide the uh, different types of uh, pressure right and in the this was developed in the 17th century in 1795 and uh, the hydraulic press machine was invented by the joseph verma joseph verma uh, he is from uh, england so joseph verma also uh, developed daily life uses stuff just like as a small small applications like as a pressing punching and uh, deep drying cup drying and all other things related to this topic so this is the way you provide the pressing operation right and uh, for the uh, part of the def definition of the hydraulic machines so hydraulic press is a machine press that works is to generate the compressive force by use of a hydraulic cylinder by the use of a hydraulic cylinder or we can say, say that the hydraulic jack or press is a device 
used for lifting heavy loads by the application of much smaller force by uh, by the application of much smaller force and it is based on the pascal's law which state that the intensity of pressure is transmitted equally in all direction through a mass of fluid at rest through a mass of fluid at rest for this type of flow and uh, and this type of uh, device it means uh, hydraulic press this type of device is used as a lifting purpose for the heavy weight by the application of much smaller force and uh, <clears throat> and wh what is the hydraulic press so this is the one definition is given here a hydraulic press is a machine for applying a large lifting or compressive force and hydraulic press is a machine which applying the uh, large lifting or compressive force and uh, this was invented by joseph burma of england invented and was issued a patent for his press in 1795 and hydraulic equipment or work on the pascal's law of pressure pascal's law of pressure so this is the hydraulic press definition and then move the working principle so this is based on the work uh, based on the pascal's law which state the intensity of pressure in a static fluid in transmitted equally in all direction equally in all directions so <clears throat> the working principle of the hydraulic jack press can be explained by the consider a ram and plunger attachment so this is the suppose this is a ram and here is plunger if you apply some force in this cylinder piston so this piston just goes on the down side and here hydraulic fluid is uh, filled throughout the system then the this ram is moves at upside or we can say that if you change the weight weight here so it uh, weight of this with the weight of this creates the downward force and with due to downward force this piston move to the upward so so these are the different kinds of uh, arrangement and consider a ram and plunger operating in two cylinders of different diameter which are interconnected at the bottom through a chamber which is filled with some liquid which is filled with some liquid and uh, so these are the some uh, hydraulic diagrams hydraulic press diagram right this is the simple machine this is the very uh, this is machine used for the heavy uh, mode of operation and uh, these are the some parts of this hydraulic machine so parts of this hydraulic machine just like as a motor here a motor is connected and this is a hydraulic cylinder here the pressure gauge this is the relief valve here is electronic control box this is a manual control valve this is limit switch here is a safety door right if any malfunction inside this unit then you press this and then this is stop the all machine and balling component like this and uh, pressing plate oil tank this is also oil tank and then motor this is the motor for this case so these are the different different types of components used in uh, hydraulic press right so these are the real uh, pictures of the 
हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस देन वी मूव टू दिस डेरिवेशन सो प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी प्रोड्यूस बाय द फोर्स एफ दिस इज ए पी इक्वल टू एफ डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया प्लंगर दिस इज ए पी इक्वल टू एफ डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया प्लंगर सो दिस इज इक्वल टू एफ बाय ए हियर सो एज पर पास्कल्स ला द अबव इंटेंसिटी पी विल बी इक्वली ट्रांसमिटेड इन ऑल डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम द पास्कल्स ला द अबव इंटेंसिटी पी विल बी इक्वली ट्रांसमिटेड इन ऑल डायरेक्शन सो देयरफॉर द प्रेशर इंटेंसिटी ऑन रैम पी इक्वल टू एफ बाय ए आर डब्ल्यू बाय ए आर वी कैन से दैट डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू एफ इनटू ए बाय ए राइट सो so the equation indicates that by applying a small force f so the equation indicates that the that by applying a small force f on the plunger plunger a force w may be developed by the ram and uh, for the mechanical advantage of press this is a, a capital a this is the large area and a small is the small area it shows and uh, if the force in the plunger is applied by a lever if the force in the plunger is applied by a lever which has a mechanical advantage just like as l by 1 then total mechanical advantage of machine l by 1 into a by a is here so the ratio of l by l is known as the leverage of press leverage of the press for this case so these are the some other uh, pictures which shows the <coughs> hydraulic press operations so this is the control system this is a cylinder and here a sliding or ram is present here and this is the frame of this uh, hydraulic press and here is one motor is connected and these are the hydraulic mechanism means uh, actuator pump and uh, filters all other thing connected inside this uh, chamber and these are the booster or we can say that this is the workpiece table right this is workpiece table so this is the construction of this hydraulic press and then move to the parts first one is cylinder cylinder just uh, consist of a <coughs> cylinder this consist of a consist of a cylinder piston ram packing and seals so all other uh, all components used for the different different actions so piston diameter and the oil pressure determine the force tongue that is given press can deliver and the frame the main structure of the press containing the cylinder and the working surface this is the frame so this is the frame outer body of this uh, cover or we can say the covering of this uh, hydraulic press this is called frame and the stroke control stroke control this is the stroke control it is it is the length of this uh, hydraulic uh, <coughs> where the uh, piston is rotates um, may piston provide the reciprocating motion and uh, stroke length can be set for any distance within the stroke limit of the cylinder so uh, adjustment include top of the stroke pre slow down point and uh, bottom stroke also so these are the some points regarding the uh, parts of this hard parts of the hydraulic press and uh, some other components these are the first a a one is the cylinder two is frame three is stroke control and uh, four is here Four, five, six, seven, and nine, and then move to four. This is four is for the throat clearance. 
but uh, where is situated in figure? This is the space clearance, right? So the distance from the uh, this is the distance of the vertical distance from the center line of the ramp to the frame member behind the bed, and this distance determine the largest diameter piece. This diameter. Uh, distance determine the largest diameter piece that can be positioned uh, with the part center line under the center of the ram. So means uh, just you see in this in this figure, this is the one base plate and this is another base plate. So the distance in between two base plates. This is the throat clearance, right? And the five is daylight. The vertical clearance five. This is the five. And the vertical clearance from top of the bolster to the underside of the ram in its maximum up position. In its maximum up position. And this term sometimes is uh, confused with. Uh, the mechanical press term set height and set height is the clearance over the bed with the ramp full down and daylight describes the maximum vertical capacity of the press edge here. So the next component is here bluster. Bluster this is a one type of plate or a structure mounted on the bed where the hydraulic press manufacturers provides a removable bluster and most model than bed. This is a flat uh, surface and uh, this is a machine, a stationary machine surface that support the bluster or die and dual column bottom control. This is the unit number 8. This is the control mechanism over the hydraulic press is here. So, it is a common method of the actuating hydraulic press. How to actuate the press and control the operation of the hydraulic press and both button must, must be depressed at the same time to bring the ramp down requiring the operator to use both hands and control circuit include not repeat and anti-tie down features and the work height. This is the distance from the floor to the top of the bolster top of the bolster and then um, working of this. So working is just based on the uh, based on the uh, principle of the Pascal's law. So so the Pascal's law states that the intensity of pressure in a static fluid, it transmitted equally in all direction. So this is the Pascal's law. So the hydraulic press consists of two cylinder of different diameters, and one of the cylinder is of large diameter, and under one is a small diameter. And uh, <coughs> a large diameter cylinder that contains ram, while the other is a small diameter and contains the plunger. And this is shown in this figure. This is the ram and this is the plunger. The two cylinders are connected by a single one pipe. Right? So this is a single one pipe and the cylinder and the pipe contain a liquid through which pressure is transmitted. And when a small force F is applied on the plunger in the downward direction, a pressure is produced on the uh, liquid in contact with the plunger and this pressure is transmitted equally in all direction equally in all direction and act on the ram in the upward <coughs> at the time ram this ram is moves at the upward direction as shown in figure and the heavier weight placed on the ram is then lifted up right so this is the main features of the uh, hydraulic uh, press is here. 
So we move to the advantages of this hydraulic press. So the advantages of this hydraulic press. So these are the different types of uh, advantages. So full stroke power, full power stroke. It given the full full power stroke. Built in over, over uh, load production, much lower original cost and operating cost. Much lower original cost and the operating cost. And larger capacity at lower cost. Larger capacity at the lower cost and more control flexibility. Greater vers versatility, right? And more compact and lower, lower tool cost and safety. So it also provides the high tank, tank capacity. The hydraulic press is quite quieter because it having less number of moving parts and it generate a high amount of pressure. <coughs> For the greater versatility, here are a few examples of the machine and uh, <coughs> So hydraulic press gives the advantage of the, this type of work, powered metal forming, straightening, bonding, transfer molding, cell reductions, press fits and more. And uh, it takes less floor space or floor space required is less. And here do not worry about the overloading or weight, right, damage because at some point the pressure is set and when the pressure gets more the relief valve opens for this case. It having low tool cost as compared to the mechanical counterparts, smooth pressing, is uh, simple design, a skilled operator not required for this case, a skilled, require, a skilled operator not required, even semi-skilled operator can work. The tool life will be longer. Right here, cutting process is not produced. So, uh, the case of the tool damage, uh, this is a very rare chance. And it improve the rigidity and strength of the workpiece. It provides the rigidity and strength of the workpiece. So, for this uh, problem or uh, disadvantage of this machine, so for the case of problems, here oil leakage, this is the main problem, right? And abnormal noise produced. This creates a extra noise and high fluid temperature. And the next thing is here, the pressure is set for the some limit, cannot exceed more than that. And uh, machine requires more maintenance. There is a carbon footprint is, is produced. So it provides a slow operation, right? And uh, cavitational wear generate. Some types of cavit in the case of cup drying or the deep drying or solid drying operation, here the cavitational wear generate. And at high speed, tiles is not produced property properly right so these are the advantage of this so we move to the next uh, miss how many types of machine so these are the two types of machine so first one is based on the uh, <coughs> single column hydraulic press this is the this figure so the single column hydraulic press this so the single column hydraulic press and this is the double column vertical hydraulic press as we can say that double column hydraulic hydraulic press and for the single column hydraulic press are also known as c type of press and uh, as the name suggests single column means this machine has only one column or we can say that this is frame is just like a c C frame. So just you here see in picture this frame is just like a 
C type of frame, right? And uh, <clears throat> in the second case, this is the second case. This is the vertical hydraulic press or the double column hydraulic press. And this type of machine has a two columns. This type of machine has a two columns and one overarm connected to the connected with the columns and the pressure applies vertically and the pressure ver applies vertically for this case. So and one more type of this uh, machine is this is the uh, horizontal hydraulic press. This is used for the uh, plastic molding process. So in the hand horizontal hydraulic pressing machine, pressing machine, the workpiece remains between the uh, the two vertical plate and the pressure applies horizontally or parallels to the axis of the machine also. So these are the two types, uh, three types of machines for the hydraulic press and then move to the next, next uh, topic is here, hydraulic ram. So what is the hydraulic ram? And uh, for the hydraulic uh, ram, so hydraulic ram, this is a pump which may be defined uh, as a self-acting device and that uses the energy of large volume of water falling from the higher location and it uh, also reduces the water hammering effect. It also reduces the water hammering effect and this device uh, is used to develop the pressure that allows a portion of uh, the input water that powers the pump to the be lifted at a point higher than where the original water started. So, <coughs> if the in the case of uh, dam, uh, the water is flowing from dam to the uh, power station. So it uh, reduce the power, uh, it reduce the water hammering effect inside the dam. So the main purpose of the hydrogram to lift a small volume to a location significantly higher than the ram and uh, the source of water. It has only two moving parts. Here the moving part only two types. First one is uh, So these are the characteristics of the hydraulic ram water lifting system. So there is a no external energy input. Here is no external energy input. Uh, example, human, animal, fossil fuels and any other kinds of energy input. And that makes the ram works other than the energy of water crossing through the pump. And its operation will continue 24 hours a day and uh, we say it uh, works as a 24 into 7 uh, concern and uh, <coughs> here the water has to come from the location higher than the ram so it reduces the water hammering effect so for the case of uh, other characteristics so only a small portion of this water around 25% or less is pumped up the remainder passing out of the ram and must be drained to a lower location. So the vertical distance of this vertical distance to which water can be pumped up from the ram is significantly higher than the vertical distance from its source to the ram and up to 30 meter delivery height per 1 meter of the supply fall. Although typically the most efficient is within the ratio of 10 raised to 1 or less. And uh, <coughs> But uh, this uh, 
hydraulic ram is invented by the 1772 by the John Whitshurst and uh, from the United Kingdom and this is a manually controlled pressure, pressure of the hydraulic ram called the positioning engine and it installed the first one outline crisis <coughs> to rise water to a height of 4.9 meter. <coughs> Due to the ram <coughs> small output per minute there is a need of a storage device at the point of delivery to accumulate this output on a 24 hour basis example and a stand point for irrigation and the forcement metal or plastic tank for running water so this is a very good device for the use of the uh, hydraulic purpose so for the history of this uh, hydraulic uh, ram for the case of history this is a very old device and well proven technology for lifting water in 1972 one Englishman John Wittshurst invented a manually operated processor of the hydraulic ram called the pull station engine. Called the pull station engine. Engine the first wall, first one he installed in 1975, raised water to a height of 16 feet, or we can say that 4.9 meter, right? For this history, the first self-acting ram pump was invented by a uh, <coughs> Frenchman Joseph Michael and uh, Monto Le Fier in 19 1796 for the rising water in his paper mill. So uh, the son of Monto Golfier obtained an uh, English patent for an improvement version in the 1816 but this was acquired together with white rest design in 1820 by Joyce Aston and a some rest bond engineer who had just moved to London. So this is a history and some uh, these are also history and this is not I am going so far here. But in 1929, the company was acquired by a Green and Carter of the Winchester Hampshire who were engaged in the manufacturing of and installation of the well-known uh, Vulcan and Welser Rams Green and Carter now function from the Esbretile near Wallington, some rest UK. Yes, yeah. This is the history of the hydraulic ram and the ramp pumps in the 21st century. In the recent year, there has been a regress in the interest in hydraulic ram, particularly in developing countries due to the continuing rise in fissile fuel prices. But in India, Vietnam and China, their government are very active in uh, constructing hydraulic ram system and in this maintaining the technology. So for the countryside, for irrigation and drinking water and supply the water inside the city and uh, a German group is leading the effort of Vietnam and China. In Africa, Zimbabwe, a British group has been active in this field since 1994. And, uh, <clears throat> This is the, some other information about this. So parts of the hydraulic ram. This is the uh, ram pump. It is very old technology. And for over two centuries, many designs have been tried. And today ram comes into variety of shapes and size. At many of the intercorporated modifications or more variations of the same theme. And uh, the basic design consists almost always, always of the following. 
रैम बॉडी इम्पल्स वॉल्व डिलीवरी वॉल्व एयर स्नाइफर एंड द एयर चैम्बर राइट सो दिस इज दिन पार्ट ऑफ दाइड्रोलिक रैम सो दिस इज एयर चैम्बर एंड हियर इज वन इम्पल्स वॉल्व इज कनेक्टेड एंड दिस इज दर स्निफिटर एंड दिस इज बॉडी दीज आर दीट एंड ड्राइव पाइप स्टप डिलीवरी वॉल्व एंड डिलीवरी पाइप स्टप सो दिस इज ए हाइड्रोलिग्राम सोन इज चीनोक MP2 and two inch ram designed by the by the author, right? And parts of the hydraulic ram just like as a air chamber, impulse valve, air shifter, body, feet, drive pump stub, right? And uh, this is on a large bore Chinese made hydraulic ram pump, right? And uh, then this is the part of the hydro different form of the some substance like this and these are the typical component of the hydrolygram here are the typical component and this is the uh, source river stream spring means uh, source of the river and here uh, we take a pipe and this is the supply pipe and this is the driver uh, drive tank and from the driver tank and uh, fall drive head here the one uh, hydraulic ram is connected and this lifted the water up to this side right and uh, but here is uh, without any moving parts in this uh, device without any moving parts and the simplified diagram of the ram is shown in this figure so the valve is open open because of its own weight and the delivery valve is closed closed under the pressure caused by the water column from the outlet the water in the inlet pipe start to flow under the force of gravity and picks up a speed and kinetic energy until the under kinetic energy until the increasing drag force lifts and waste valve weight and closes right so uh the momentum of the water flow in the inlet pipe against now closed waste wall causes water hammer hammers so that rises the pressure right that rises the pressure in the pump beyond the pressure differential now opens the delivery valve so these are the different kinds of uh, systems and uh, this is a cost of the hypothetical hydraulic ram setup with two in ram assuming data is shown in here right suppose here the three meter and it lifts the water up to 20 meter in height right this is a one part of the hydraulic ram all right and uh, then we move to the next section of this uh lecture is here this is the mcq problem so this is the first mcq problem this is the first mcq problem here first question is here hydraulic press is also known as press is also known as press and uh, a option is given here pascal b is torricelli and c is given by the bernoulli and d is brahma so the correct answer for this question is here so hydraulic press is also known as the brahma press because it is invented by the brahma and it uh, <coughs> by invented by the joseph brahma from england hence is it is named after him so the correct answer of this question is here d is the correct answer right d is the correct answer of this question and then move to the question number 2 and uh, for the question number 2 the underlying principle behind the hydraulic press is based on the based on principle of here four option option is given a brahma b 
पास्कल सी स्टोक्स एंड डी इज न्यूटन सो विच ऑप्शन इज राइट फॉर दिस सो द अंडरलाइन प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड द हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस इज पास्कल प्रिंसिपल इट स्टेट द प्रेशर थ्रू आउट ए क्लोज सिस्टम कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दिस प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड विद ए इक्वल फोर्स ऑन द इक्वल एरिया अप्लाइड से इक्वल फोर्स ऑन द इक्वल एरिया एंड एट राइट एंगल्स टू द कंटेनर वॉल्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज हियर पास्कल सो दिस हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस ऑलवेज वर्क ऑन द पास्कल ला सो पास्कल इज द करेक्ट आंसर देन मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड इन द हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस द पंप एक्ट एज ए द पंप एक्ट एज ए फोर ऑप्शन इज गिवेन ए इज द पिस्टन बी इज द मोटर सी ट्यूबिंग एंड डी सिलेंडर सो इन हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस द पंप एक्ट एज ए पिस्टन इट विल हैव ए कंसिडरेबल मैकेनिकल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन ए स्मॉल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एक्टिंग ऑन ए स्मॉल क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया the other part of the piston is large area which will deliver a higher mechanical force so the correct answer of this question is here a a is the piston this is the right answer then move to the next question question number 4 here a hydraulic press makes use of a here four option is given first one is hydraulic pump b hydraulic cylinder c hydraulic accumulator and d is here hydraulic shaft so here four option is given in this four option one option is right so what is the right answer just uh, i will give some time for this just to think about this so the a hydraulic press utilizes a hydraulic cylinder it always utilizes the hydraulic cylinder and this cylinder is used to generate a compressive force and this cylinder always used to generate a compressive force and its working is similar to that of a hydraulic lever it's working similar to that of a hydraulic lever so the correct answer of this here hydraulic cylinder so b is the correct answer of this question and then move to the next question this is a question number 5th in in a hydraulic press the metal can be crushed strengthened molded molded crushes strengthened and molded so for this case in the uh, the metallic material placed in a hydraulic press it can be crushed strengthened and molded right and these are the some of the crucial features of the hydraulic press and these are the some basic applications of the hydraulic press and uh, it consists of a bed or plate on which the metal is placed for the action of taking taken place and so for this the correct answer is here d is the correct answer uh, which crushes strengthened and the molded right so we move to the next question this is the question number 6 the higher discharge valve line holds the discharge valve this is open closed stop functioning and the automatic so the higher discharge valve line holds the discharge valve just like as a closed position right so b option is right answer for this question and then move to the seventh question the inlet passage of the water entry it controlled by the uh, a option is head raise b is gate c is trail raise d is pump so b option is right gate is the right answer for this question and then move to the question number 8 gives the velocity component at right angles to a particular direction a is velocity b velocity vector c stream function d pressure line so c is the stream function right answer and then move to the 9 the cylinder with a smaller diameter is called a smaller diameter is called the four option is given here first one is slave cylinder master cylinder working cylinder and casting cylinder 
So the cylinder with the smaller diameter is called the slave cylinder, right? The hydraulic press consists of two cylinders. The hydraulic press consists of the two cylinder. They are as classified as master and slave cylinder, depending on their diameter. So the <coughs> smaller diameter cylinder is the slave cylinder, and the larger diameter of this uh, unit, this is called the master cylinder. So for this question, A option is right for this case. And then move to the tenth question. So A is the main essence of a car pressing system. Hydraulic press, hydraulic cylinder, hydraulic crane and equimeter. So the correct answer for here, hydraulic press is the correct answer. And then these are the references of this uh, uh, chapter. So the engineering fluid mechanics, KL Kumar, second is fluid mechanics and machine FM wide, third is fluid mechanics and machine AK Jan, and then fluid mechanics is steeper and fluid mechani ma mechanics and application SK Gupta and V Gupta for the new age publication. So if you want more information regarding this lecture, then you just go through this these books and uh, get a more information about this. So thank you for this lecture, for you kindly listening here. Thank you all of you. Thank you.